For our theme today, we will have healing life's hurts and pains, but this time forgiving those who have hurt us. And again, this is something very familiar to all of us that we have somehow in our life met people who have really hurt us. What do we say to that? Again, let us be guided by the readings of today, which is the beautiful uh, hymn of love by St. Paul in 1 Corinthians 13, and in which there it says, Love does not brood over injuries. When we have been hurt, our tendency, lalo sa mga Pilipino, uh, we, we do not express it, but we keep it to ourselves. Now, remember a negative feeling like anger, resentment, reject, a feeling of rejection. We all keep that. When we keep it to ourselves, we are keeping something alive. It will stay there. Like, and I, like a volcano, it will gradually strengthen its, uh, uh, the power. How? When many other experiences of rejection and hurts, anger and resentment comes in, and until one day, it will explode. And usually, the time it explodes, the person whom, who have, may have hurt us will not understand why we are feeling that way. Because it is there, has been buried, and has been added so many painful experience, hurts of uh, resentments. So, do not brood over injuries. How do we not do that? By again, maybe facing, using this time to face the one who hurt us and say, imagine, what will you tell him? One who hurt you. And then try to find out also, allow the person to respond to you. Focus on the feelings. Perhaps you can stay there for a while. And while doing so, listen to what the person will want to say to you. And then slowly, slowly move towards a closure. Meaning by that, learn how to reach out and forgive the one who hurt you. Forgiving is not a question of feeling. Forgiving is a choice that you make. A choice that seeks to even say, I love you even when you have hurt me. Isn't that godlike? The capacity to love, to reach out. To forgive the one who may have hurt us. To err is human, to forgive divine. Let us take the opportunity to allow the divine in us to have the power to forgive those who hurt us. In today's theme, we continue with the whole idea of healing life's hurts and pains. But this time we focus on learning how to begin again. How do you begin bringing all the pieces of your life together again and be able to move on? How do you begin again? Again, let us look at what the reading of today has given to us, will be giving to us, in which in the chapter 16th of John, he speaks of our grief will turn into joy. Wow, how can our grief of having lost someone, uh, for example, how can that really turn into something joyful uh, if not because we will begin again? We can begin again. So maybe it's good uh, as an example here of uh, looking at our lives and saying there are certain things in our life where we can change things and there are certain things in our life we cannot change. Now, the prayer that we can always gather will be that of uh, what uh, I forget now the one who said this that, you know, Lord, give us, uh, I think it's the Alcoholics Anonymous, Lord, give us the courage to change things we can change, to uh, the serenity to accept the things we cannot change, at least not immediately, 
And then third, give us the wisdom to know the difference. Perhaps in this matter, we can always look back and see with Psalm 27. What were those moments in our lives when we were experiencing being hopeless, being utterly down? And then, after some time, with some sufficient grace and courage, we were able to stand up and begin anew. The question is, where did we draw the support and courage to be able to begin again? What are our greatest sources of our spiritual and emotional strength and support that can help us get up and start anew? Sometimes continuing to have friends, sometimes uh, not sulking, but rather going out and try to pick up the pieces by relating anew with other people. Going back to our duty and being focusing on uh, the duties of our life, etc. Now, after we have done so, we can ask, what are our greatest blessings now? What are the things that we are most grateful? Because those blessings will give us the courage to continue to move on in our life. And let us beg the Lord that He grants us to have a more positive and hopeful attitude towards life despite our difficulties and struggles.